If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Salary cap issue. So if it's uncapped in 2010, right? In 2000, let's say they sign a contract, whatever, there is a salary cap. How are they going to revert back to the cap? You know, that's, that's an outstanding question because that, you've heard it. If the salary cap goes away, you're not going to get that genie back in the bottle. No. Uh, because now you have, you're exactly right. If someone wants to roll the dice, even up its books, so to speak, in 2010, knowing that a cap's going to come back in 2011, that would be an un, that would be an unfair balance. The league would have to put some mechanism in. Lawyers. Uh, exactly right. Um, so uh, we would come back to it another cap-like system, but it would not be the cap that, that we know and love now. Why would Steve Bashotti want? Uh, to be in a league where Snyder and Jones and Lurie and the Giants and the Jets can play the role. The, I mean, how how aren't there more mid-market and small yeah. markets? I mean, how are they ever going to be able to agree? Because to that? the current structure in the NFL does make it workable. Um, one of the concerns I have about this issue going forward, I always got the sense that even though we're there on opposite sides of the equation. Uh, Paul Tagliabue and Gene Upshaw both kind of knew where it would end up, and it was a matter of pushing their constituencies to where they wanted to go. And they had a clear-cut idea. You, a deal is going to get done. Hey, don't, don't worry. There will be a good end. Now, will it be done without a strike or a lockout? I don't know. But you know at the end of the day, a deal will get done. What I hope both sides realize is that you all have no appetite to hear billionaire owners argue with millionaire players over your money because yep. uh, it will do damage to the game. So what? back to my original point, my concern now is, and I think Roger Goodell is, is, is a good commissioner and a brilliant guy. I don't know D. Smith that well, uh, but they're new to one another. They gotta forge that relationship. And I'm not sure in the inner sanctums of the league office and the union office that there's anybody that can tell you, look, here's here's how this is gonna go down. Here's gonna be, here's what this this uh, agreement's gonna look like. Now, our, it's like any contract negotiation. A club knows what its threshold is. Ozzie Newsom's job is to get it as below, as below that threshold as he can. The agent knows what the threshold is. How close or how much above that threshold can he get the contract? That's all these two sides are doing because they know what the end line is. I'm not sure they know what the end line is right now. That, that, that concerns me. That bothers me. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net.